Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Today's video is about attachment to the outcome, how it blocks your manifestation and what you can do to move beyond it. Before I dive in, please like this video if you want to support my channel. Um, click on the bell icon and subscribe. And also, if you are feeling chatty and generous, then please do leave a comment because I absolutely love hearing from you guys. So attachment to the outcome what is it attachment occurs when we are encountering a circumstance and we are making it mean something unfavorable about us so we are saying that the circumstance is unacceptable and it has to change to prove to us that actually everything is okay so we're getting attached to getting a specific outcome because we can't be okay without it. So I'm going to give you an example. And let's say that we would like um, to make a weekend plan with our friend. So we're texting them on a Tuesday. And Wednesday, Thursday go by. We still haven't heard from them. And on Friday, we're thinking, okay, well, it's been three days now, they haven't responded. Certainly, that must mean that, you know, there's something wrong with us. Um, they don't value our time, they're disrespectful, and they probably don't even want to be our friend. So we are making the circumstance of them not texting us mean that there's something wrong with us. We're taking it personally, we're making it mean that we're not worthy, not good enough, etc. And I mean, as a conscious manifester, of course, you have the choice of either, you know, persisting in the assumption that everything's fine, they're going to text you, you know, right the second or you know you can have a human moment and react and make it mean you know take it personally and there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking things personally because that actually reveals you know what's actually going on within you so these moments are good because you get to practice the good stuff you know th the stuff that will help you persist through any circumstance and turn it around so let's say you know we've now made that mean that okay like they don't care about us great so now we need the circ we're saying the circumstance can't be it's unacceptable we can't accept that they are not texting us because we can't accept that we are unworthy of their time we can't accept that you know we are being disrespected we can't accept that um, we are not worthy of you know their friendship that's unacceptable so what we are actually saying is unacceptable is the meaning that we've given it but we're projecting that onto the circumstance so we think that circumstance needs to change in order for for it to prove to us that none of these horrible things are true about us and that everything's okay so we need the circumstance to change to know everything's fine everything's okay you know we're good when we're in the situation and we are focusing on the wanted outcome the attachment can block that outcome from coming through and that is because we are in resistance to the current circumstance so we're saying to the circumstances no 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 you can't be like this can't this is unacceptable i can't accept this because of the meaning that we've given it so in order you know so of course as you know what you resist persists so that circumstance them not texting us is going to persist now how do we shift out of that and um open the gate for the manifestation to come in so first of all we want to be obviously we want to be clear on what is the outcome that we want we would like for them to text us to apologize you know that they've been um that they haven't responded earlier and we want we want them to confirm the plan we want them to say yes um i'm totally up for hanging out on saturday um love that restaurant let's definitely go i've wanted to go to it as well or whatever right so you want to find something that you would like to ha to happen then we're going to deal with the attachment so there's two ways that i like to deal with that there's probably other ways but these are the ones that i found to be the most reliable 
And the first way is you can change the meaning that you have attached to the circumstance. So now we, we're making it mean that, uh, okay, they are texting us. So that must mean that, you know, we're not good enough and um, they don't want anything to do with us. They don't want to be our friend. Um, they're disrespecting us and so on. So instead of that, we make, we're going to make it mean, no, they are busy um, or, you know, they have a migraine, they're not feeling well, um, you know, they haven't been able to spend a lot of time on their phone. Um, they have totally have, they've totally, um, noticed that I've texted and they have it, you know, they've, they've put it in their mind to respond and they actually, they're actually feeling bad that they haven't responded yet. And they would love to go out with me and they're, they're totally excited to see me hang out and they they're gonna text me um that that they're super keen on hanging out and let's do it okay so that is the new story so now we can start persisting in that new story if that you know if that doesn't feel like it's enough if you still feel like oh i still need the circumstance to change then it might be easier to go down the other route, which is making a plan B. So you are leaving the circumstance as it is. Circumstance again is the friend is not texting. That's the circumstance. So now we want to find a way around the circumstance that, you know, is, is satisfying. So let's say, okay, we wanted to go to this restaurant with them and catch up on the Saturday. Now we can say, okay, does it have to be this Saturday? Um, no, we can catch up some other time. But, you know, you want to make a weekend plan with someone, so you're just going to invite someone else then, and you're going to tell that friend you texted that, you know, because they haven't been in touch, and you had to, you know, lock down a plan, that you will have to, you know, just reschedule it with them. Or you could say, okay, you know what, actually, you know, I might spend this weekend um, with my family, or... Um, you know, I might work on that project I've been putting off. Whatever it is, you wanna you wanna find a good plan B. Like if this doesn't happen, if this doesn't come through, what are you gonna do? You have to work on the assumption that it's not happening. And I know some people are like, oh my god, no, like that's gonna like create the opposite. And no, it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. You have to work with what you have. So currently we don't have the friend texting us, so we have to work with what we've got and you know, because obvi obviously we want to move forward. So if they're not texting us, then we're going to have to deal with that, find a way to deal with it. And the, the way of dealing with it could be you just make a different plan or you just invite a different person, um, whatever feels satisfying. So you might still feel like, oh, I don't like the way that they haven't responded to my text, um, but you're going to accept that you feel that way. So you're accepting, okay, yeah, I feel like annoyed at that. I feel like disappointed. Yeah, I feel totally like um, made invisible by them. And you're going to accept that that's how you feel. And you're going to make a plan B because then you're no longer resisting those circumstances. So they actually dissolve and the circumstance that you do want comes through. Now, you don't have to act on those plans it's just a mental, it's a mental strategy that you're coming up with. You're saying, okay, if they're not texting me by whatever, 10 o'clock this evening, then I'm going to have to postpone. And you're going to think, think through the plan B now, um, working on the assumption that plan A isn't happening. And, um, and then you can go on back in and say, no, you know what, I would prefer if they like texted and confirmed the plan. So then you're going to keep focusing on that outcome, but equally you're going to be okay if that outcome doesn't come through. That does not mean that it won't come through. That just makes you no longer resist the present circumstance, which you are already perpetuating. So you really have nothing to lose. Um, and yeah, definitely play around with this. Try it out. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I hope this video was helpful and I wish you a wonderful day. See you in the next one. Bye.